Now for almost a year, Coronation Street fans like myself have watched the once lovely Gary Windass transform into a fully blown street villain. So I've had to think about what you said. Seeing as I'm a generous man, I'm going to give you until six o'clock tomorrow. <laughs> you killed Rick. I want some straight answers about my dad. You need me to front this factory scam of yours. It's a few hundred quid, Gary. What's your problem? You are. Oh! What have you been saying to your brother? Nothing! Well, you're a liar, because he seems to know all about the business. Reckons he's seen what I'm capable of, and that leads me to you. Derek, when I say go, I mean it. Because if I ever see your face again, I'll kill you. You're not a lone shark, are you? What are you going to do now, eh? Help me. Help me. Yeah. Oh, wow. Please, Gary joins me now. Whatever happened to that lovely young that. fella? I, I enjoyed that. I was good. I've not seen much of that. <laughs> You're a really good baddie. <laughs> oh, thank you. You thank are. You. But you used to be so lovely. He did. I know. I'm, yeah. I'm convinced that he's, he's going to be. A, a, he's going to wake up one day. And it's going to be a dream sequence. Yes, and he's, maybe. Uh, maybe. He's back maybe. to being a builder's labourer, but it seems that we're past the point of no return now. But a lot more fun being a baddie. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's, it's been really good fun to to work on. No, definitely. What sort of reaction have you been getting? You know, from from just out and about and from. Yeah, years? I'm getting hit with the handbags again, uh, are like you? the old days. Yeah. Um, um, some women want to kind of take me under their wing and uh, mother oh, me, which is oh, good. Oh, do they? Yeah, that's and maybe nice. they say that they can reform you, that's perhaps? That's it, yeah, yeah. Oh, so OK. Bring it on. Let's, let's see. Right, right. But other people not happy. Not happy. Not happy at no. all. Now, at the moment, um, there's a really powerful story. We've, we've seen it sort of as, as Corey does. You know, it's been sort of building up, building up, building up about vaccination. That's right, yeah. Of course. And we've got a little sneaky preview of tomorrow night at half past seven, where, well, there's devastating news for Gary and Maria. Have a look. I've got measles. Measles? That's what kids get, isn't it? Yeah. Hey. It's all right. What, do you want to go to the hospital or something? Get to check you out. I've just been to the hospital. I wasn't just overtired. Right, well, obviously, yeah, if you've got measles. Why are you scaring me now? Maria? Is the baby okay? Maria? Maria? <laughs> there, there is no baby. <laughs> oh, so we're seeing him there. I mean, that's really... And again, you know, you just see the consequences of, of not vaccinating your, your children. And it's a brilliant message to get across. But, yeah, definitely. But, by, but from... Oh, that's the thing about Coronation Street. It all comes from the characters. That's right, yeah. That's why we care so much. Definitely. So it's, it's Daniel in the midst of his uh, grief has failed to vaccinate his... His little boy, and uh, Maria then catches measles and loses the baby. So yeah, it's um, hopefully raising awareness for for that. Completely, which is a wonderful thing to, yeah. to do. But as far as the relationship between those two goes, there's there's a lot of implications there. Definitely, yeah. You know. it, this throws another spanner in the works, you know, and uh, it, it's been turbulent already, shall we say? Yeah. Um, and Gary's going to go after Daniel now. He's going to try and seek revenge on him. Doctor well. Ali uh, finds guys. Maria, takes her to the hospital. So he's kind of out for him as well because he was there. Not him, right? Um, so he's, he's after a few people. No, and that's the, the thing. That's the thing about him, isn't it? You saw there a softer side yeah, because he was yeah. obviously comforting Maria. But he's got this thing of his instant thing is not, oh, I have to take care of the woman that I love. Yeah, it's I have to get revenge. I, I think that's you how know? he deals with his grief. You know, he kind of turns right. to his fists, not his, you right. know, not his, I, not his I emotions. Tries to hide it that way. No. But um, he's a nice guy deep down. I hope. Do you somewhere. think he is? Do you think I, there's I, still I think, a, think, there's still I, a wee person I, in there? I think I've got to say that. Yeah, I think deep down there is a. There is a nice guy under there. He just he tries to do the right thing, and it often it often goes wrong and leads sure. him to to kill people. Well, yeah, <laughs> there, there, there is that. But you, the thing about it is, if you just played him as a panto villain, yeah. it wouldn't work. Yeah. So you've got to get that. You can see the conflict I think, yeah, within I think him. With, with anybody, you know you've got to sort of show rounded sides to them. Totally, and, um, you totally. Know, and, and show both sides of the coin, and hopefully mm. we're. We're doing that. No, very much so. And Coronation Street has got history when it comes to baddies. I mean, you follow in the footsteps of all of these wow. fine fellas and girls. Oh, yeah. yeah. Remember, yeah, we had Pat Phelan. Yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, some it. really bad... Oh, going way back to Alan Bradley yeah, that tried to kill Rita by throwing her under the trap. There you go. I'll never forget that. And where's he now? <laughs> exactly, <laughs> exactly. Now, look, you're up for an NTA, Coronation Street, yeah, of absolutely. course. Looking yeah, forward yeah. to that. Yeah, we're going tonight. We'll all be there. I think about 30 of us are coming down. So, Excellent. Uh, watch out for some rowdy northerners in there. 
in the crowd. That sounds good. It's all about that, all, all about getting together, because you guys, your, your work schedule is crazy, isn't it? That's right, yeah, no, it's, uh, it's long hours. You know, we've gone to six eps now as well, so that's kind of, um, we're kind of putting more of a shift in, but it's all good, you know, yeah. hopefully the audience are still enjoying it as much as we are to, to make it. No, indeed, no, well, well good luck, yeah, good luck, absolutely. Much. Now, look, tell me this, let's mm. just clear this up. Yeah. Rumours about you, because there's all, you know, there's, Obviously, there's always changes yeah. anywhere, and people are leaving, people are coming in, and there was there was some rumours that you were going. Please mm. say no. Well, my, my mortgage helps not, that's for sure. <laughs> uh, and I'll refuse to leave if if they if they write <laughs> me out. I, I just won't film the scenes. Just yeah, don't I'll, do it. No, uh, no, no. Look, I'm I'm there for for another year at least. I think um, Good. we've got lots more planned. We've got a big spring. Um, oh. I think there's the big Britain's Got Talent week where we go on at nine p.m. Right. Um, oh, so you can maybe do things a little bit, a little bit more. Yeah, that's right. Dark, I think, I think like. we're gonna. I hope I'm not giving too much away. We're gonna, we're gonna revisit the woods where uh, Rick's body is buried. So Ooh. that's kind of gonna come back to maybe haunt Gary. So that's right. um, that's coming right. up in the spring. So watch out wow. for that. There's a lot to look forward to. In I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> the ten thousandth. Yeah. Episode, which is quite astonishing. That's that's going to be happening again. You know, we hear lots of rumours yeah. about maybe one iconic character is not yeah. going to be with us, yeah. and all of these things are happening. But all of these big landmarks. Yeah. Are Ten thousand episodes. You know, 10, it's a lot. Ten thousand. That is yeah. nuts, isn't it? When you think yeah. about it. And Bill Roach has been in nine thousand of them. I think. <laughs> I think he's been in every single one of <laughs> yeah. them. He's amazing, isn't he's he? He's a great guy. Yeah. He's, he is. He's, is he kind of like you know? I always think of Rita as the mum of yeah, the street. He's the dad, absolutely. And he's yeah. the dad, and they are very much the heart. Yeah. Of and it. they're so professional. They know their lines. You know the. They're, they're always willing to help you out if you need anything. Yeah. So, um, yeah. I just think of both of them as kind of ageless and timeless, and you can't really imagine the street without them. No, you can't. Absolutely. It's not yeah. well. It's not going to happen. Yeah. So it'll be fine. Now, look, you've got two little ones. That's right. Are yeah, they yeah. too little to watch Cordy? No, look, my my little boy Archie will be watching. He's three and a half. So, oh. hi, buddy. Hope you've been good for your mum. Uh, I hope so. And I've got a little girl. She's uh, four months, Eliza. So yeah, we're, right. we've got a hands full with her, but they're. They're both it's great. great. And, and you get that work-life balance, which is always very difficult to achieve. Yeah, but you know, you it's it. been such a, a manic sort of year and a half, two years for, you know, for me and Gary, really. So um, <laughs> I've got a little bit of time off coming up, so I'm going to look forward to yeah, just being spending a daddy. time with them. And I'll probably <laughs> yeah. be glad of going back to work for a break. <laughs> exactly. It's just getting the balance right, that's the Absolutely. thing. Absolutely. Now, interestingly, you don't do social media. I don't. You know, I, I've made a choice years ago to never really get involved with it, just to sort of protect my mental health, I think, yeah. more than anything. I, I, I see it cause so me. many problems for people and um, it's just something I've not, I've not chosen to do, so. I think you're very wise. And and because we were doing a whole big campaign yeah. uh, this month about looking up, looking yeah. up from your phone and yeah. not, not spending as much yeah. time on it. Because I think if you get sucked in, yeah. it's, so I think you're very wise, I actually. think there's so many upsides to it, there is, and, you know, oh, and, sure, and I'm all for people using it. It's yeah, just, um, yeah, 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 yeah. I can see the, the negatives, especially when you're in the public eye, it can be quite... Um, yeah, people think they you can know. say anything to you. Exactly, and when it's yeah. on there, like, like I always think, well, would you... I always think if you're doing something like that, would you actually say it to the person's face? Yeah, exactly. And if you wouldn't, then don't be a coward. Don't say it, don't do it. And put it on there. Yeah. And, of course, being a dad as well, you don't... You, you've got... You know your kids are going to have phones and all of that. They will. But you want to protect them a wee bit as well, don't you? Absolutely, you do, yeah. And yeah, I'm sure that, that things will evolve over the next, you know, 10, 15 years and it'll be different then. But, um, yeah, for now, I'll... I'll keep my phone in my yeah, pocket. I don't blame you. I don't blame you. I really don't. Listen, good luck tonight. Thank you very much. You've got yeah. your outfit sorted out, I Just hope. Just about, yeah, I've got my dress. Good. I've got my frock. <laughs> so watch out for me, yeah. Excellent. I can't wait to see how you do. Thank you. Good luck. Yeah, good luck very to much. you. And thanks of course, Coronation Street continues tomorrow, half seven and half eight on ITV.